Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to use free scientific illustrations. I will demonstrate how to use them in the software application that are already in your computers, PowerPoint, Inkscape, or other Illustrator. I am a scientific illustrator who has taught at the University of Amsterdam. And so I've seen you guys really need free scientific illustrations to support your research publications because not all labs have a lot of budget. So that's why I decided to make these videos to help scientists around the world. You can support me by giving me likes subscribe to the channel and share the videos with people who need these information in my two previous videos i have shown you guys where to find free illustrations on the internet i'm going to use the bio art library by nih as the example and show you how to import these illustrations into the software applications build figures presentation and illustrations with more than 2000 science and medical art visuals you can have access to it by typing in this web address or simply Google bio art source and it should show up as the first search result. As you scroll down, you can see all the categories of illustrations here for free. They have a search bar. You can simply search the illustration you want right here. For example, you type empendrove and you can find your illustration in a search result. Let's search for another one, for example, cell. Then you can get the search result of all kinds of cells. Isn't that amazing? You can filter them with the control panel on the left. For example, license. If you search public domain, you are sure these illustrations are all for free. And now let's download one of the illustrations. You can click on the download sign on the upper right of the illustration. I usually download all because we will have four different file types. Go find the zip file in your download location. You can extract all and in the extracted folder, you will find four files. One is Adobe Illustrator file. Another one is encapsulated postscript and then PNG file and scalable vector graphics. You can then use the PNG file, drag and drop it in PowerPoint. And there you go. You can start adding the T-cell into your PowerPoint slides. If you want to further edit these illustrations, you can use a free software called Inkscape. It is an open source software. You can download it from their website. Just search Inkscape and you can get there. I have a video explaining how to download. You can check them out in the link in the description. In Inkscape, you can find these illustrations just like in other Illustrator. You can ungroup the different parts of the illustration and edit them as you wish. You can find the download link in the description. I also have a free course to help you guys to learn how to use this software. You can also edit these illustrations in Adobe Illustrator, but not all researchers have this at their institution. If you are the lucky ones, just go ahead and open the AI file. In the file, you will find an editable vector graphic. If you don't have the subscription, don't worry about it. Just download Inkscape. They can achieve similar results. If you have further questions, you can leave them in the comments or book a consultation with me. And thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.